In this video, I'll be doing more worked examples on indices. Thanks for tuning in. This is Kisembo Academy. We have 9 to the power half. 9 to the power half, like we had introduced in our previous video, it's the same as the square root of 9. So, the square root of 9, what is it? Let's try and find it. If you look at 9, if I prime factorize it by 3, you have um, 3. Since it is square root, you group this in groups of 2. And when you group them in groups of 2, you just choose one number from the group 3. And therefore, the answer here is 3. Let's get on to this. This 64 to the power 5 over 6 is the same as 64 to the power. It is 1 over 6. And this is to the power 5. Because it is 5 times a 6. 5 times 1 over 6 is 5 over 6. So you first deal with this. 64 to the power 6. What is the 6th root of this? Because this is the same as saying. Uh, this is the 6th root of 64. And all this is to the power 5. So what's the 6th root of 64? Again, to get, you can use your calculator to get it directly, or we factorize it out. Prime factorize. So if you look at 64 by 2, if you divide 64 divided by 2, we'll get 32. By 2, we shall get 16. By 2, we shall get 8. By 2, we get 4. By 2, we shall get 2. And now, since... We are looking for the 6th root, it means we are going to group these numbers, the factors, into groups of 6. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So if this is a group, one group of 6, you choose one number from that group, and it is 2, 1. So it means that the 6th root of 64 is 2. So it's going to be 2 and to the power 5. So the answer is 2 to the power 5. You can go ahead and, and, and simplify it further. And of course, if you say 2 to the power 5 will give you 32. So you could do as well, we'll just say it is 32. That's our answer. So looking at this here, we are having 49 to the power 3 over 2 times 49 to the power negative 7. Now these are two indices we are multiplying. They are having the same base, the same base which is 49. So what we do to the powers, we simply add the powers. So this is going to become 49 to the power 3 over 2 plus negative 7, which is, we shall say, plus negative 7. Divide all that by, now we have 64 to the power uh, 3 over 2 times 8 to the power a half. Now the bases here are different. How can we attempt to make these two bases the same? Now if you look at 64, if you fact, to factorize 64, I'll do some side work here. If you look at 64, if you uh, divide it by 8, you get 8. It means that 8 times 8 is 64. 8 squared is the same as 64. So it means that to make it look like this, to make these bases look the same, this is the same as saying 64 is 8 squared. So this is 64. 8 squared to the power 3 over 2 times 8 to the power half. So you shall end up with 49 to the power of this is going to give you, now th 3 over 2 plus minus 7, this is the same as 3 over 2 minus 7, and this is going to give us 49 to the power negative 11 over 2, divide all that by, now of course here 8 to the, uh, this squared, 2 times 3 over 2, this 2 and that 2 will cancel, you remain with 8 to the power 3, times, 8 to the power a half. So this is going to become 49 to the power negative 11 over 2. Uh, divide all that by, this is the now become the same base. So it's 8 and then you add the powers. 3 plus a half is going to give you 7 over 2. And of course, uh, this 49 is the same as trying to say it is 49 to the power a half. Multiply that by 11 times negative 11. Because negative 11 times a half is going to give you this. 
negative 11 times a half gives you negative 11 over 2. So it's 49 to the power of half divided by 8. And definitely that is to the power of half times 7. Because 7 times a half, when you multiply these powers, it's supposed to give you this back. 7 over 2. So this gives us 49 to the power half, the square root of 49 is 7. So it's going to be 7 to the power negative 11. Divide all that by the square root of 8. The square root of 8, which is approximately 2.83. And all this is to the power 7. Uh, this is going to become 7 to the power negative 11 is the same as, to remove this negative, to remove this negative, you find the reciprocal of 7, which is going to be 1 over 7 to the power 11. Divide that by 2.83, and all this is to the power 7. And the answer you will get there will be... From, from prime factorization, you know that 27 by 3 is 9 by 3 is 3 so it means that 27 is the same as 3 to the power 3 so this 27 you say it is 3 to the power 3 that's the 27 to the power negative of third multiply that by 1 to 5 to the power third now if you factorize 1 to 5 you know that by 5 you have 25 by 5 it's 5 so it means 125 is the same as 5 to the power 3. So this 1 to 5 is replaced by 5 to the power 3 and all this is to the power 3rd. Multiply that by 32. So likewise we factorize 32. If you look at 32 by 2 will give you 16. By 2 will give you 8. Divide by 2 will give you 4. By 2 it will give you 2. And if you count this 32, it's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So it means that 32 is the same as 2 multiplied it by 5 times. So 2 to the power 5. So this 32 becomes 2. All this is to the power, this 2 to the power 5, uh, to the power uh, 1 over 5. After simplifying your figures in this kind of way through factorization, it becomes easier to deal with them. You know that this powers is 3 times negative a third. Here I remain with. 3 to the power negative 1, multiply that by, this is 3 times a third, the powers, when you multiply the powers according to our laws of indices, you remain here with 5 to the power 1 times, 5 times that is going to give us uh, 2 to the power 1. And definitely this being a negative 1, to remove this negative, you make this number a reciprocal, so it's going to become a third times 5 times 2, which is 10. So the answer here is 10 over Three. Please take note of what we did in our previous video. A to the power m of n over n is the same as a to the power 1 over n into m. And this is the same as this, the, the root of n to the power m. In other words, if you look at this, 1 over n, this is m over n. Now this is the same as 1 over n times m is actually m over N, which is which brings us back to this it's like when they give you two thirds two thirds is the same as saying you one over three times two uh, you displace this two out and you make this one over one over three times two so one over three times two is the same as two thirds or if they told you six over five six over five is the same as saying one over five times six so our interest here is to create a fraction that is having 1 as the numerator. And that's what we are doing here. That m over n is the same as 1 over n times m. We are interested in this fraction that is having the 1. Because any number to the power 1 over n is equivalent to the root of that number n. For example, if uh, we are saying that if it is a number, let's say, let's call it 2 to the power a half. This is the same as the square root of 2. If it is 3 to the power quarter, this is the same as the fourth root of 3. 
if it is 6 to the power of 6, uh, 1 over 5, it means it is equivalent to as uh, the, the fifth root of 6. That is what this means, 1 over n. So here we have a to the power, the root of n. n can be any number, of course not 0. Then all this is to, to, to the power m. And this is the interpretation of that. From that previous clip, from our previous video, we said we can convert this back to the fractional indices. So it means this is going to become 2. Since it is the third root, so it's going to be 2 to the power a third. And this whole thing is times negative to the power negative 2. Multiply that by a root of 6, which is, um, it means this is 8 to the power 1 over 6. And this whole thing is, is multiplied by negative 1 times negative 1. All this is divided by root of 32. Now, uh, third root of 32 means it's 32 to the power 1 over 3. And that is multiplied by the negative 1. Uh, multiply that by 2 to the power negative 1. This is the square root. So the square root of 2 to the power negative 1, it means it's the same as 2 to the power a half. Uh, multi uh, multiply all this by the square negative 1. Then multiply that by, this is the same as, third root of 16 means it is 16 to the power 1 over 3. And all this multiplied by negative 1. Like that. So we proceed. So our next thing here is going to become 2 to the power a third times negative 2. This is going to become a third times negative 2 is going to give us 2 to the power. This times that is negative 2 over 3. Multiplied that by a 6 times negative 1 is going to give us 8 to the power negative 1 over 6. Then divide all this by uh, this is 32 to the power negative a third. Multiply that by a half times negative 1, which is 2, to the power negative a half. Then a third times negative 1 gives us 16 to the power negative 1 over 3. So let's try and look and make these indices try and look the same. As you can see, we are all having even numbers all through. So this is already 2 to the power something. So can we make this one also 2 so that the bases are the same and we simplify the powers? Likewise, down here. So we are going to take that approach. So it means that we are going to take on 8. When you factorize 8, we know that 8 by 2 it is 4 by 2 it is 2. So uh, 8 is the same as 2 to the power 3. Then if you look at 32, uh, 32 is by 2 is 16, by 2 is 8, divide that by 2, you get 4, by 2, you get 2. So 32 is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 32 is the same as 2 to the power 5. If you look at 16, same story, by, by 2, you get 2, uh, you get 8. By 2, you get 4. By 2, you get 2. So 16 is the same as 2 to the power 4. So we are going to replace these numbers with these. So it means if you look at this, this is going to become 2 to the power negative 2 thirds. Multiply that by 8 to the power negative 16. Now this 8 is being converted to 2 to the power 3. So it is going to be 2 to the power 3, multiply that by negative 1 over 6. Divide all that by 32. Now the 32 has become 2 to the power 5. So it's going to become 2 to the power 5. All this is to the power negative a third. Multiply that by 2 to the power negative a half. Multiply that by 16. 16 has become 2 to the power of 4, so it's times 2 to the power.
to the power 4, all this is multiplied to the power negative a third. So our next step is going to become 2 to the power negative 2 thirds, multiply that by 2 to the power, now this is 3 times negative 1 over 6, 3 times negative 1 over 6 is going to give us uh, 1, negative 1 over 2, all that is div divided by 2 to the power 2 to the power 5 times negative 1 over 3 is the same as negative 5 over 3. Multiply that by 2 to the power negative a half. Multiply that by 2 to the power. This is 4 times negative a third. 4 times negative a third gives us negative 4 over 3. So our next step here now, since the bases are now have now been made the same, 2, 2. So we maintain the base and add the power since it's multiplication using the laws of indices. So that is going to become 2 to the power negative 3 or negative 2 over 3 plus negative a half. Divide that by the, the bases are the same and it's multiplication. So it is we maintain the base and we add all the powers. So when we add all the powers, this is becoming negative 5 over 3 plus negative a half plus negative 4 over 3 and definitely this is going to become when you add these fractions negative 3 over 2 plus negative a half is going to give you This is 2 to the power negative 7 over 6. Divide all that by. This is 2 to the power negative 7 over 2. Now if you look at this, this is 2 to the power negative 7 over 6. And this is 2 to the power negative 7 over 2. These are, this is division of indices. You're dividing two indices that are having the same base. So it means that we're going to go ahead and maintain the same base and subtract these powers. So that becomes maintaining the same base to the power, subtract the powers, negative 7 over 6 minus negative 7 over 2. Of course, this is going to become 2 to the power, negative 7 over 6. This minus minus becomes a positive plus 7 over 2. And our answer here is going to become 2 to the power 7 over 3. As simple as that. This brings us to the end of this video. Thanks for tuning in. For more of these videos, I encourage you to subscribe to this channel. Otherwise, don't forget to hit that like button. Coming up next is more of these. Stay tuned. For Kisembo Academy, this is Anul Ranga Kuramia.